what's up what's good what's going on family so let's jump in and do an energetic check-in um for the sign of sagittarius guys this is going to be for your sun moon rising north node venus as well as that ninth house very particular messages here on the Manjula Awakening for your ninth house. But even with that being said, guys, just take what resonates and bless someone else with the rest, okay? So, um, Sagittarius, I do want to let you all know to head over. I'll try to do my best to pin a comment. To head over to TMA All Signs. That is a new channel for the Manjula Awakening. I will do one weekly upload over there. And it's just the, your personalized week ahead prediction. Um, you can cross watch. I am doing all 12 zodiac signs. So um, do your best to try to uh, tap that link and hit the subscribe button. All of my family members that have subscribed to that channel, you will be entered into a drawing um, to win a free personalized reading. There's The first upload is scheduled for February the 1st. So you definitely don't want to miss that because that's how I'm going to know who went over there from here. Okay, so with that being said, guys, let's jump straight in and see what energy the universe has on offer for the set. Oh, what the universe has on offer for the Sagittarius collective leg up, tried to fall and be seen. So I definitely feel like the universe is trying to give the Sagittarian ninth house collective a leg up. So let's I just heard a leg up in some bullshit. So ooh, let's see what's coming now, spirit. Definitely, an, and, and there's definitely a change in the wind and an, in a situation, an unfinished symphony. The universe is blowing things around so that this unfinished symphony can come to an end. And this is something that is currently happening here and now in this present moment. Spirit wants Sagittarius to remain poised and to remain in a peaceful state of mind. Don't like whatever is taking place around you. That's five cards as well. Um, Spirit really does want you to be much well aware that um, whatever's going on around you, it is divinely orchestrated for your best and highest good to get you outside of a situation that against your best, despite your best efforts, you've not been able to get that cycle to close out. So Spirit is stepping in and intervening on your behalf. That's what I feel like is happening here because I really do feel like the universe is offering you peace. This is the opportunity to gain peace here. The universe needs you to remain poised though, okay? The challenge here for Sagittarius is that this has been an ongoing cycle, an ongoing situation. And it's almost as if there's a, a, a habitual reaction to this unfinished symphony, okay? The way through that challenge is to know that there is a change in the wind happening. Focus on... The, I, I'm, my next, the next, the last card is usually what's on the other side. When I get the here and now and the what's on the other side, it doesn't matter because the biggest task at hand is for you to stay focused in this present moment. In order for you to acquire your gift, you have to be present in this present moment. That's what I'm getting. Let's see. What's at the bottom of the deck? Yeah, clean it up. Clean it up. The universe is giving you an opera, like the universe is cleaning some shit up for real. And spirit is X and all that you got to clean up is the way that you respond to this shit to be and, I, and, and that's just as real as it gets. I can feel it. I can feel it. I feel like that whatever this situation is for you, it has been something that is like a nagging headache in your head. And um, spirit is is spirit is trying to get this out of the way. Most importantly, I feel like that whatever this situation is, is done a number on your heart chakra and the universe is is needing sag's heart to be open i feel like the sagittarius that's resonating with this reading the universe feels like that your heart is valuable to the collective and so the universe is trying to get some things out of the way What do you need Sagittarius to know about poised spirit? Is this the deck? Mm -mm. Nine of Pentacles is... Yeah, this isn't the deck. Uh, but there's an adventure that's coming in for you. It's going to be very... It's going to bring you in some abundance. I kept getting called to this deck.
poise. What can you tell Sagittarius about poise? What is it that you need Sag to be aware of as it pertains to being poised? Um, 48 does break down to 12, which breaks down to 3. I feel like that you have some energies, like you have unseen forces on your side right now. Yeah, wow, the Ace of Swords. This is unseen forces on your side right now. Um, they're bringing, it, yeah, because they're seeing some shit. They like, okay, so there's some things that as you're soaring, and your like your desire to win something at all costs with these five of swords right here to make someone pay to call someone out or whatever it is. There's something that you're not seeing. So spirit is asking you to remain poised and stop trying to win something at all costs. Get in alignment with the universe because you have unseen forces on your side that actually see the truth. They see what's going on. So spirit needs you to maintain your composure right now. Because honestly, what is like wherever this situation is leading you whatever deception someone is doing because there is some underhanded sneaking deception okay there is and if you remain poised then that deception becomes to light a lot smoother but also what i want you to know is that whatever this deception shit storm is it's like it's putting you in the presence of someone that you're going to partner up with okay so let's just say, for instance, I don't know, let's just say that your landlord might be picking on you, doing some bullshit, being a slumlord. And so they they decide to evict you or decide to take you to court or whatever the case may be. Don't go in there acting a donkey because at that courthouse is where your, your lover is at. Like the, your divine counterpart, it works in that courthouse or sits on the other side of that bench. Or is the attorney that you will encounter. There's something like that. So you have to maintain your composure in order to. It's putting you in position. It's just a shitty way to be put in position. But the universe wants you to know that there is outside forces that have your back. So just remain poised. Hmm. The opportunity here is peace. Y'all don't forget to smash that thumbs up button. If y'all are follow, following along. Or I'm um, wanting to see what's what's where we're headed. I keep being drawn into October the 12th. That could be very significant for someone. Also, I want you to know that the opportunity is a 23 card. And what's on the other side is 32. So there's definitely some reflecting that can take place here. And like this, even though this reflection, self-reflection may not be easy for you to accept, it brings you to a pace, place of inner peace. If you're, if you allow yourself to do this internal reflecting, okay, it does bring you to a peace within. And if you can become to a place of peace within, well, then we know that you can experience peace external as well. All right, Spirit, let's clarify this peace. The opportunity here is peace. What can you tell Sagittarius about the opportunity here? Thank you. Wow. The world card. Success. It's like, it's like peace can be achieved. The world card. Look, and I love this particular world card. I'm so thankful that the cards caught me into this one. Into this deck. This is a beautiful read, y'all. Oh, beautiful. These deers or these rams here or deer, whatever they are. They come together for one, one, one has the eye of the yang, one has the eye of the yin. And then look what they come together and make beautifully. So what this is telling me is that there is that internal peace that is achieved. It is achieved. Um, this is success. This is the closing out of one cycle and going into a brand new cycle where you get to like, you, like you are getting, you're at the beginning of writing your destiny. Like you walk into a brand new chapter of your life and it's a completely blank canvas and you get to do what you may with it. This is a beautiful reading. Five of pentacles here at the bottom of the deck. This is telling me that, you know, for some, for some of you all, someone's going to try to pull some funny business as it pertains to your finances. So spirit is saying, be mindful with your finances Okay, because this could be something funny with your money, but it doesn't it doesn't have the outcome that 
whatever someone is trying to orchestrate, that's not the outcome that it's going to have. It actually gives you that leg up. Remember when it tried to fall and I was like, what your energy is on offer and the leg up wanted to come out. This this person doesn't even realize that they're putting you in position. Y'all, there is definitely something significant about October the 12th. I don't know what this is, but when I just looked up at this and I just seen 1021. Um, but there's something significant with 10 to with 1012. Wow, you gotta, yeah, this person trying, like this person is secret, secretively trying to put you in a financial hardship, secretively trying to get you left out, like they're trying to get you ostracized, but spirit is like, just hold on, just hold on, because this actually brings in your manifestation, this brings in your manifestation, so when, I feel like someone is trying to put an end to it, like, I don't know, because just a few seconds ago, I seen the magician in the Ten of Swords, it's like, and when I seen that, it was like, somebody's trying to put an end to Sag, like, let me shut Sag up once and for all, that's what I'm getting, but unbeknownst to them, it gives you your platform, let's see, Unfinished Symphony is here in the challenging position, Why is Unfinished Symphony in the challenging position here for Sag? Thank you. The full card. Um, the challenge is, for one, I want you to know, Seven of Wands, stand your ground. Um, the challenge is, this person may try to present some sort of opportunity or offer for a fresh start. Um, I, I just feel like that th with this full card being in the challenging position, it's almost like it's inverted, reversed. And it's like your trust is broken in this situation. So you wouldn't even really fully, if you honestly got another chance with this, you wouldn't trust it. You wouldn't trust it. You, The trust has been crumbled here. Um, but there is still that that subconscious desire that has to be cleaned up. It's time to clean this up because I do feel like that there is still some sort of small space that you do hold. Um, like I ain't gonna lie, even if it's the even if it's in the energy of go another round so that I can be the person to let them down. You know what I'm saying? I'm getting a delivery. A, a delivery just pulled up while we're talking about this unfinished symphony. So I definitely feel like that there is a like there is an opportunity that is coming. You've manifested it in, but I feel like that you've manifested it in in a place of low vibration. And I I I, I just feel like that the trust is kind of burnt here in this situation. There's something um like there is still a part of you that like I don't I don't really know how else to say it. That was the nest card. There's still an emotional nest that you have for this person. Yeah, I feel like that you're still holding out for an op that in this person with me receiving a package, there's still like this energy of this person holding out for the opportunity to be able to still even though they're probably actively betraying you or doing some foolishness in your energy, this person still has this place in the back of their mind that's like, well, yeah, I can still offer, ironic, there's the bird. I can still offer them something. I know that Sagittarius still holds a spot for me. And if I'm being honest with you, Sag, you do. And Spirit needs you to clean that nest up so that you can actually like clean out the nest and make room for the new. Because this person's betrayal is going to put you in the position for your new. I want you to know that. I feel it. Moving forward, a change in the wind. This is the way through this challenge. Recognize that there are things that you don't know about this person. There are things that this person has done behind your back. Okay? Give me a second. Y'all, I hit the mute like we own live and instead of pause. Give me a second. All right, family, let's jump back in and let's look at this change in the wind because it is the way through this challenge. Like I said, I feel like that there are things that are just beyond your control, outside of your control. And the actions that this person has done, 
um, it, 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 it changes the direction and the trajectory of things. And Spirit is actually wanting you to embrace this change in the wind and recognize that it's actually putting you in, an, in the direction that you need. Wow, that's the two of pentacles right there. And this card, this particular two of pentacles speaks about attunement. Making sure that you are attuning yourself. Like when things are changing around you, um, get yourself in attunement. Like what is it that's like, why are you resisting certain changes? Do the attunement that you need so that you can transition better through this transition. Because it's like I said, there's forces outside of your control at play here and when i said that rewind it back to when we was clarifying poised i got the ace of swords to come out so that was saying that that was the truth so as things are shifting and as things are changing it's not going to be the easiest for you it's not going to feel the easiest for you to automatically get in flow but spirit is saying do the attuning needed so that you can because it's for your best and highest good Let's see, Spirit. Can you give me a concise flipper for a change in the wind, please? Thank you, Spirit. The Wow. The Hierophant and the Two of Cups. This is a, a change in the wind is like um when I just feel like that you're literally being blown to the to the commitment of a lifetime. Like this like the way through this challenge is to understand that this change in the wind is blowing you towards your your lifetime commitment lifetime commitment mm -hmm. like spirit just said after by the time you after by the time this wind changes and puts you in the right direction you're gonna have a lifetime movie story with a happily and with a happy ending like you're gonna end up with your with the hierophant and the two of cups this is the commitment this is the long-term commitment right here is it the lover's card no and that's because i feel like that this is a soulmate like i feel like that this is in the three of wands like i'm telling you this is blowing you in the three of wands is your ships coming in what helps the ship move on that water the wind the wind a change in the wind it is blowing you in your commitment it is boring you in the commitment of a lifetime. There's also like there's a this 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 there's lessons, there's energy. You two are going to be sharing knowledge. Wow. Yeah, you're definitely moving on to calmer waters. This is someone that you will have children with if you are still in that energy where you're desiring ch children. This is the commitment. This is the commitment that will fulfill that that desire for children. Let's see here and now. I, I feel like that this is something that is currently taking place for you. Here and now, spirit. Why is this here on the other side? For what's on the other side? Here and now. Spirit want, definitely wants you to make sure that you're staying present in this present moment. Don't focus on the past. Don't worry too much about the future. Living in this, like staying, uh, um, participating in the gift of the present. Wow. Baby, the moon card and the six of wands. This is like... In this present moment, it like the victory is yours. Like you have to stay present in a victorious, victorious mindset. Victory is mine. Victory is mine. I also want to say that I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven clarifying cards. Uh, four of them are major arcanas: the World card, the Fool card, the Hierophant, and the Moon card. This is going to awaken some fears and some anxiety. And Spirit is saying that if you can face your fears and your anxiety as they awaken up and clean that shit up in the present moment, it's better for you. When you feel resistant, do the, uh, do the attuning. Ask yourself, why are you resisting this change? What is this? What is this? What is this? What fear is this waking up in you? Address that because that's how you get to victory. When like 
when you knock those fears and those anxieties off and you face them one by one, you're one by one becoming an even stronger victim. For sure. I'm also being led to have you guys go back and watch the live from yesterday. Um, because I, I, I feel like you're being set free from something that has kind of had you under its foot, under its thumb. And I want you to know that, I, that in that reading, it was saying that victory was yours no later than June. I feel like that if you can stay present in the in the present moment and face the fears and the anxiety that this transition awakens inside of you, it could possibly bring in that victory at the beginning portion of June. Because, well, I don't know, because the moon is cancer energy and the end of June, uh, the end of June does go towards cancer like energy. So just take it as it resonates. But I definitely feel like that there's like if you can, the sooner you can face your fears, the quicker that this victory comes in for sure. This is a beautiful reading Satch. Let's get some tea leaves on this. Yeah, these cards are so hard to shuffle, but. Yeah, see, there's a wedge that is getting a moment to trans. Like this is caterpillar, things. Um, a change is coming. So someone tried to. Someone is trying to come between you and the, your transition, but it's not going to be. It's they're going to make it difficult, but they don't succeed. And the reason that they're not going to succeed is because what they're doing. To make your life difficult is actually like you're going to be willing to do the attunement on it. And it's actually going to help elevate you. And it gives you a leg up. Lily, exactly. Spiritual love. You've got some spiritual, like there's somebody on the other side that is loving on you. And that is helping you through this transition. So don't lose sight of that. It could be a man. It could be a male family member on the other side. I look a male in tree um, affairs with your family. So this, when we was just talking about the spiritual lovings on the other side, this could be a male family member on the other side that is helping ordain the things that are taking place here. Give me a second, guys. All right. What else? What can you tell of the Sagittarius collectives about this male family member? What does Sag need to know? Um, this is something I'm recording this on January the 28th. This January just flipped out on this. So this is, um, this person could be born in January. What do they need to know about January when it comes to this male family member? There's an exciting event. So there's about four days and there's going to be an exciting event around this male family member. And it's going to be very significant. Spirit is going to ask you to remain poised, okay? You could gain some sort of clarity around a male family member. It's, an, um, it's going to bring in an exciting event. You got about four days to hear about that. Um, it, 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 you will be wiser at the end of this situation. Like, okay, this situation at the end of it, it does make you wiser and better for this. Yeah. So definitely. Also, someone needs to make sure that they're being mindful as it pertains to their health. And I felt that, um, cause I, as soon as I sat down to get in the reading, I got a small headache here. What else does Sagittarius need to be made aware of? New storyline, or if it flops over there, then it'll be about that. But yeah, see, Spirit does want you to know that remain poised because there are some temporary, there's some clouds arising, okay? But I'm telling you, there's every time we see something about a problem, we get an immediate confirmation that it's leading to an immediate confirmation that is leading towards happiness. Happiness and the four leaf clover. And it says great good fortune. Like it like there may be some temporary issues or temporary problems to arise, but they're putting you in position for success, okay? What else can you tell Sag about these temporary problems? That you're being taken care of in difficult times, okay? And then the caterpillar came out. 
that it is going to be important to remain poised through this difficult transition, okay? Things like you're being protected, you're being taken care of in difficult times, and these difficult times will not last always, okay? Anything else? Anything else? At the bottom of the deck, we have not. So somebody's plan is definitely going to be unsuccessful here. Yeah. Well, this is Mule. Someone is extremely stubborn and unwilling to change. They're going to be unsuccessful. But spirit needs you to remain poised. Because if you get outside of pocket, then the this jackass can't show themselves like then this person's true colors can't be seen if both y'all out here acting like assholes. Okay? I'm giving like I got out here. This is definitely wise advice here. And then we got Taurus slowly but surely getting ahead. You are slowly but surely getting ahead, okay? Um this person that's being stubborn and that's unwilling to change. This person could get like they could they could end up getting y'all involved with the law or something like that. But like I said, that works out in your favor because even the example that I said earlier, I feel like that it leads like I feel like that your life partner work at the courthouse or something like that. Okay, so just keep that in mind, Sag. Just keep that in mind. Let's see. Y'all don't forget to smash the thumbs up button if this is the reading that you've been seeking. If you're finding guidance here. What's the numerology message to help Sagittarius through this energy transition here? Spirit is also telling me to get y'all a self-care. Spirit said take this one. Oh, wow. The word, like, y'all. Yeah. It's very auspicious, y'all. It's very auspicious when you get the world in the food card in a reading. And in your reading, they're literally side by side. The world card came out first. And then the full card. You're getting a brand new beginning. This wipes the slate clean for you. Like literally, this whatever this person done, it gives you a blank canvas. Limitless potential. Zero, 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 zero. Limitless potential. Rest, relaxation, unknown, surrender, finish line, success, victory. It serves as a timely reminder that anything can be accomplished. If you can dream it, there is no reason you can't make it a reality. If something is in your possession, is in the possession of another person, it is also available to you. So try to remain calm. What's meant for you won't pass you by. Let go of tension. Relax. And wow, we have new beginnings here at the bottom of the deck. 09, 09, and 0330 is at the bottom of the deck. Lucky shirt. Pers uh, pursue your goals and get what you want. It will provide wonderful benefits for you and the people you hold dear. Your ability to communicate is improving at this time, which will make it easier for you to interact with a broad spectrum of individuals. Oh my goodness. Beautiful, beautiful energy. What's the practical self-care message here for Sagittarius spirit? Practical self-care message. Ritual. Um, it says to experience the magic of life, you must first practice it. And I am a firm believer that the ritual that the universe... Wow, that's so crazy. I was... It's just... I'm really just now remembering it. I was having a dream and we was coming up on the two, two the, the February 22nd portal and somebody and we in my dream we was not on February the 22nd oh my goodness but somebody asked me hey yo they said it just like that hey yo you don't have no rituals that you like to practice 
So it is going to be very important. That 222 portal is going to be very, very, very important for a Sagittarian collective. Because there is this, there is a ritual to, to release. To release on that portal. Wow. So, but anyways. Make sure that you, when, when things are, when you're feeling that resistance. Do the ritual. Do a releasing res ritual. Okay. Release. When you realize that you're resisting the change in this wind. Ask yourself what you're scared of. What What is this first stemming from? Do the work on it so that you can release it. Okay. It's going to be very important in order for you to experience that magic. Also spirit wants you to know that it's going to be very important for you to be mindful of what it is that you're feeding your body. What you feed your body. Feed your intuition. Okay. Keep that in mind. Wow, have faith. Make sure that you're relieve, uh, releasing any doubts. Remove the doubts and questions. You are ready to step into your blessings and claim what is already yours. You're overcoming obstacles. Wow. Get back on your feet. Gain strength from this difficult situation. Look what just fell back. The the chariot triumphed. Like victory is yours. Like you're you're the victor. You try like if winning had if this is your this is your season. This is my season. Oh my goodness. I, I know I fleeced that. Oh my goodness, Marvin, uh no, Marvin. So it's Marvin somebody. If Quanda watches it, Quanda know what I'm talking about. This is my season. I don't know, y'all. I'm gonna listen to it after the song, after the, after I get done, cause this feel like this is hitting, y'all. Baby girl, what's the message? What you gonna close us out here? You gonna close us out with a message, baby girl? Thank you. Trust, trust. I trust the highest way. Change me, divine beloved, into one who wants what you want from me. Let me trust that my needs will always be met. In the highest way, when I allow you to guide me. Wow. You got to have faith in this season. This season is calling for you to have faith. This season is calling for you to have faith. This season is calling for you to have faith. Centered. Um, I hold my center. Change me, divine beloved, into one who holds my center in all situations, no matter how challenging. That's that poised. Fill me with serenity and calm. Wrap me in your faith. Woo. Decisions. Oh, I like this, Sagittarius. Perfect actions are shown. Change me, divine beloved, into one who can offer all decisions to you. May I trust during times of transition. That the perfect actions will be shown. Grant me patience to allow events to line up as they need to. There is something. Somebody's doing some bullshit. But it's putting you in a position. It's putting you in a position. Because this is your winning season, Sagittarius. It is. This is your winning season. Y'all, I absolutely love you. I hope that this message offered you the guidance that you were seeking. And in all that we say... Y'all don't forget to go check out the website. Go get a personal reading. Um, uh, hit the thumbs up button. Get this message out to as many Sagittarius as possible. Y'all, this is our winning season. I love y'all.